Amidst this Doke on Drow, JP Doke and I actually dropped this 9 minute video in which they talk about two important facets of the ongoing versions of the update. Number one, a jukebox feature being added and then number two, which is heavily tied to the first feature, a new game mode called Burst Mode. So, huge shout out to Air Dokkan for pointing out the translations by the individual called Ran. Let's just take a look at what the translations of what is going on in this video because, again, there are no captions provided so like, you know, I can't read I can't read, I can't write, I can't do anything with Japanese, right? So we can only go off translations. So let's see, collection room. You can listen to whatever background music you want to in here. You can set the background music to a team or have a default room. They will release the background music in an order and there will be events to obtain background music as well. So from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to be, like not every single background music track will be added from the get-go, which is fine, right? Because remember guys, there's like, I think a total of 200 tracks, right? In, in Dokkan, so... Looks like they'll be rotating that, I suppose, every time this particular mode comes back. I presume this burst mode will be treated very similar to something like Chain Battle, where it's only brought back at once every month or like once every other month. And then, of course, burst mode itself. It is a mode where players can challenge themselves and that they will try to beat their own scores. This mode will add gimmicks to current events and players will have to figure out ways to deal with the gimmicks. This event changes periodically, just like Virtual Battlefield, so just like Dokkan Battlefield. Okay, so this... That would imply that burst mode is happening once a month. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Uh, because I, I, a lot of people have been requesting this jukebox feature for a very long time. There'll be challenges like clear with total school only or clear with STR type only. Each conditional gimmick has a certain amount of points that it gives and players can choose what conditions they want on themselves. Oh, interesting, so we can control the scale of difficulty. Imagine if that was a case of like cell max. <laughs> Or like some of these red zone stages. That'd be that's interesting. Okay. The second demonstration shows Omatsu choosing a lot of gimmicks that makes him weaker and the enemy stronger. There is a limit to the amount of points you can get in this new mode. You will get burst coins from this event, which you can then use to trade for background music. Okay, so when he's referring to when he's referring to Omatsu in the, the second demo, I believe that's somewhere here. Okay, Twitter just being Twitter as always, just buffering like hell. I, I want to try and show that off if I can. Let's do that. All right. Where is where is the part? God damn it! This just doesn't want to play. Like is wow. Twitter, Twitter being Twitter, huh? It just doesn't want to play anything. All right. Let me let's try one time for the one time. Final time. Can you stop playing the? Can you stop auto playing the music, please? All right. Let's just skip to just here. So yeah, I think it's here, right? STR Goku here performs a super attack against this AGL Vegeta. Looks like we do zero damage. He doesn't dodge unless disabling is dodging. I mean, unless, unless dodging is disabled, and then he takes a million damage. Is that a million? Yeah, it is a million damage. Okay, so that's interesting. I think we also saw a glimpse of the burst coins. Yes, those are the burst coins in question. And in fact, I'd actually find some more translations. I think this is a bit more of an in-depth, uh, detailed guide. This is a Japanese website. We are translating it via Microsoft Edge's Translate, so some things may be off. But let's just take a look at it. So, today the official Twitter account for Dokkan released info about the new system that will be implemented soon under the name Dokkan Battle News. Uh, the contents are below. Let's see. So, background, music, function, adjig, adjig, added, PGM function added. A new function collection will be implemented. A new system will be introduced that allows you to listen to game background music at any time and that you can set default background music for your team. The reputation of BGM is heard in many communities and many users will be happy to introduce this function. Not to, okay, you mean many users will be happy that this function would have been introduced. But yeah, again, Microsoft Edge, translate all over the place. However, not all BGM can be heard from the beginning, and it seems that you will clear the burst mode described later and collect it. Okay. That's interesting. Just the same thing that we'd uh, associated with the RAN translations. New system burst mode added. A new system burst mode will be implemented, which allows you to increase the difficulty by imposing restrictions on battles and getting luxurious rewards for that amount. So that is interesting. It's tied to the Dragon Ball story event, the Saiyan Saga one. Okay. For a limited time, a specific stage of a specific event will be put into burst mode so you can tie yourself up there and clear it. A specific stage of a specific event. So this is a Dragon Ball story. Is this going to, I wonder if this will apply to like any event. So, okay, a, just a regular, okay, not a Dragon Ball story, but the regular story event or maybe like the quest mode. That will be interesting. I presume they will, right? Because again, it just says anything. So these, I, I presume are the conditions or the restrictions. Looks like they have their own classification or categorization because they all are under different headings and with each restriction we're given a point. I, I presume then these are the, the burst coins that we're able to receive? Must be. 
There are many items such as formation binding, enemy power up, weakening allies, item binding, and the tighter the binding, the more score you can get when clearing. So, yeah, the more difficult the event is, or the more difficult you make the event for yourself, the higher score you get when clearing, and then the higher score would mean you get more of these burst coins, which would then directly influence, I presume, how many tracks you're able to pick up. What's interesting is, so, you know, the example they're using is the Saiyan Saga. Like, would they just tie all of the Saiyan Saga background music tracks to, like, this this first, like, first roller of this event? It's, it's, it's interesting, right? They could do it like that. Formation binding, so that's what we, were, we what we were hearing with Ran, right? With the STR types only, enemy power ups are I presume just giving an extra one hundred percent damage. Like we can see, like one hundred percent attack. Okay, not one hundred percent attack, but we can see attack here. We can see eight hundred percent attack and five hundred percent defense. I'm not sure if that's to us or to, or to the enemy. I presume that would be to the enemy, which is interesting. Weakening allies, item binding, so that's going to be like limiting our item usage. Weakening allies again is just the same principle as this, but just on your own team which is interesting the score is converted into burst coins which can be exchanged for various items okay so it's not just bgm tracks but we can get many things i presume it would just be standard stuff like training items kai's etc etc the various items include the aforementioned bgm which will be the highlight reward okay let me have these two here okay with the introduction of burst mode categories and attributes will become more important so it'll be easier for characters who are strong but the competition within the category is too fierce and there are a few turns To get a turn and to and try to to get a turn and okay I'm, i think i'm reading that wrong that that was part of this clause or this sentence try to pass only the feint make the enemy stronger that can never be defeated by the direct attack and then stun every turn to make it completely to earn a large number of scores okay it seems that new strategies such as this will be born we will create a separate article about burst mode later and then yeah version z ends with the introduction of burst mode, version plan Z will be terminated once. However, in the end, where and where of the where and where <laughs> of the various updates in the past year is version was it plan Z? There is, and even if there is none, the version upgrade itself will be done regularly. So it seems that there is no point in more than one break. However, for the time being, the update wrapped in this will be terminated. So this will be the like the I suppose the final nail in the coffin for version Z, but the game will still be updated regularly, which I suppose just makes sense that's common sense right and that's pretty much it so yeah thank you for watching i don't know when this is going to come out i believe there were no dates given i think we can assume that this is going to be out within the next week or two i also presume that both global and jp were getting some lr soon right lr golden freezer should be next for global i'm recording this one on the 11th i presume next week then right so that means that jp will probably get a lr next week as well but yeah, this is some pretty exciting news. Just a brand new game mode is always interesting. We'll see uh, when this turns up, how good it will be for Dokkan. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.